Hello, Shreveport Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of buying a home in Halton? In today's video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of Old Oak Subdivision in Halton. So, let's go! All right, let's get in this map and let's find the location of uh, Old Oaks Subdivision in Halton. It is off of Sligo Road and you have two entrances into it. And it's this large area right here. It goes a little bit further down on my map. Eagle uh, Ridge Subdivision area there that's added. I don't know if that's the exact name of it, but that is it's, uh, like an extension a little bit different style of homes, a newer built uh, just recently, it looks like. So that's good that you know that the subdivision hasn't been built out and you can uh, actually buy a lot and, and build uh, the home, your dream home really, on there. And also the different price ranges would go from 300 all the way up to uh, 500 is what I found, but I know that there's more probably in a little bit higher range there so uh for sure uh when they were first built and bought years ago so uh yeah it's a great great area you've got a golf course on here that i, I believe hal sutton himself uh designed for uh this area so uh lots of good things uh, lots of beautiful homes as you saw in the um vlog tour on the previous video that we did yeah great location close to bozier close to halton you're kind of in that in between you're really closer to bozier it's like the halton line almost there and and also uh yeah great location when it comes to the schools uh elm grove elementary is going to be uh your uh, ele uh the elementary school for you you're going to come out and come uh, down Sligo Road and then hit Barksdale, which is 71, and you're going to go uh, south. And uh, Amgrove Elementary School is here. It's interesting. You're close to Bossier and you're cl and you're in Halton, and you go to Amgrove Elementary School. <laughs> uh, it, it it makes sense when you look at the mileage uh, distance and all, and that's what the school board does. Is is instead of just schools in your town, they also look at, in neighborhoods as to where the closest place for them to go to. So. Uh, you know, it makes it, it makes sense then, but it's going to be a 16 minute drive, 12 and a half miles and, uh, uh, you know, not far at all. And then uh, middle school is M Grove Middle School, and it is 12 minutes away, seven and a half half miles there. You're going to hit Sligo Road and then go north and uh, and then you're going to uh, turn on Panther Drive right here close to where the arena is opposite there and uh, used to be the high school years ago uh, parkway high school but they turned moved the middle school the middle school was where the elementary school is uh and they moved it into town and then the elm grove uh, middle school became the elementary school they created an elementary school there so uh it's a, a small school uh, there. So uh, the middle school uh, there has got a, a great team of teachers and principals and uh, it's, a, it's a great school for you. And then I mentioned uh, Parkway High School is going to be the high school and it's the closest to you. It's eight minutes away, five miles, and you just cut across on Sligo and then you just cut across Barksdale and turn there and the school is right there off of the highway there. So, uh, yeah, excellent th uh, schools for your children and uh, definitely want to take note of, of that. It, it's a, a great opportunity. Uh, they'll receive a great education. Now, if you're here for Barksdale, uh, you're going to be 15 minutes away, nine and a half miles, and you're going to come out on Sligo Road, hit Barksdale. You're going to go straight up, and, Bar and Air, Air Force Base is right here. 
15 minute drive. Uh, and that's because of the lights, you know, slowing you down. It's just under 10 miles, uh, nine and a half. So Barksdale, it, its location is, is, is really centrally when you look at Shreveport and Bossier and then Benton, Halton, Greenwood, and then Stonewall, uh, but, uh, south of Shreveport, it, it's it's kind of centrally located to all of those areas. So I mean, you can easily get to the base within twenty thirty minutes, and so fifteen minutes is a including lights is driving time is not bad at all, and that's that's what makes the Old Oak subdivision you know worth looking at uh, because of its location to uh, the base. And let me just say that we are uh, very proud to have those that are here for Barksdale. We want to welcome you. We want to greet you. We look forward to meeting you. And you'll find that our area shows such great appreciation uh, to our airmen and their families. Uh, we love the fact that you're here. Barksdale uh, came to the Bossier area, uh, Barksdale fi uh, Bossier Fields, I think, or Barksdale Fields, they called it uh, there, where it's located now in 1932. And so it's been here a long, long time. Of course, I I was born and raised here many a year ago. I should, it has thrived throughout I, all that time. I've seen people come and go, and I think that's where a lot of our growth came because the base became uh, such a central uh, part of our security nationally and, and, and internationally. And so, uh, you know, the B-52s in have flown all over and that's the major part but they have uh, added uh even other units and and type of things to the base so um you know as a civilian we welcome you you know uh we don't think of the the planes and the noise and all that we don't hear it anymore after a while you just you just get used you know used to it because you know that 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 brings safety, and uh, and you'll find that we will, you know, if we see someone uh, in uniform, we'll, you know, say hello or thank you for your service, and we don't even know you. We, uh, you know, uh, just want you to know that we appreciate you, and you're going to find that Shreveport Bossier uh, is going to be one of the best places that you've ever been transferred to uh, and a part of your military family, and we hope that you stay or you come back to us uh, once your uh, time with the military is up. Now, if you're going to be needing to go to the airport uh, from Old Oaks, it's going to be 27 minutes, 21 miles, and you're going to come out and take Barksdale and then go in and hit in 20 and then come across. So it's kind of, yeah, like go up and around. Uh, not Because there's not really a straight shot here because you see here the alternative route is to get go into Shreveport. And then, and then you're going to have to go down a ways and then come back up. So it's kind of the same idea either way. And I think the interstate right here is going to be your better better route than... Uh, I mean, 31, 32 is not bad either. So because let me say, we don't have a traffic problem, you know, I mean, pretty much everything flows unless there's been an accident, you know, then and we get down to one lane or whatever, uh, you know, but for the most part, I mean, just a typical day, you can get to where you need to get to, you know, in, in with little uh, resistance, as I say, uh, there. So you don't have to wait too, too long. There's just a few times that will bottleneck. But for the most part, everything's pretty straightforward uh, in our travel. So but anyway, the Shreveport Regional Airport, we got a regional status. And, and also it's a large enough airport that you as a business person, you'd be able to get in and out of town. Now, if you need to go to downtown for work, then you're going to come out of uh, Old Oaks and come across and hit Arthur uh, Teague and keep on going till you hit 20, and then you're right there into downtown. Uh, 20 minutes, 14 and a half miles, so not far at all. It's a fairly straight shot, and you can really go. Arthur Teague, you, there's no lights, uh, pretty much, just... Uh, maybe one that I can think of, uh, or two. So, um, yeah, not far at all. And you'll be able to get 
into downtown. And we have skyscrapers. The Shreveport downtown is, is you know, about the only towns that we have that really has a major uh, downtown area type thing. So uh, all the emphasis is put basically into that downtown area. And uh, so there are a lot of uh, parking garages and, and there's uh, just a lot of different activities that will bring uh, you. Uh, we've got mud, bud madness uh there we have uh an arts festival that that is there during the year we have farmers market is there and uh there's just a lot of things that that brings us downtown we have the big fourth of july celebration and uh it's off the riverfront right there it's really a beautiful uh, uh picture and a beautiful uh, just the reminder of celebrating the fact of our freedom uh, from 1776 over 200 plus years. So, um, yeah, for sure. Uh, the downtown area is, is super great. We have major companies that have headquarters uh, here. In South Bose, really, you're, you're located in Halton, but you're so close to Barksdale Boulevard. So the thing here would be that uh, you're going to find a lot of nice things along the way here. As far as groceries go, you're, you've got a, a Brookshire's here. You've got a Kroger on up the way here. Uh, and there's also a little ways up, there is a uh, Walmart center uh, shopping. Not not the full sh shopping, but the, the neighborhood center, they, I think they call them. San Miguel is a, a good Mexican. We have lots of entrepreneurial restaurant, Mexican restaurant, and uh, we've got plenty of franchise uh, restaurants like Zaxby's here, Church's Chicken, Popeyes. Uh, we, you know, you, you have all of the the general things that a large town, you know, is it's like when we go over to Dallas just to to take a, a day or two uh, there. It's kind of like okay, let's don't buy, let's don't go to a restaurant that we normally that we have, you know, in Shreveport, Bossier, and uh, it, you'll be amazed at how many franchises we have that are in the big cities. Uh, and also it's finding those mom and pop places that, you know, just makes it different and the atmosphere a little bit different. And we have both in Shreveport Bossier. I mean, you have the Zaxby's and all, but you also have uh, the mom and pop shops that have different uh, restaurants and uh, entrepreneur spirit about them. To They want to work for themselves and all, and they take the risk to do that and uh and i admire them you know and uh, uh because i'm entrepreneurial myself you know in i have several businesses and all besides the well most of them in, are within the real estate uh business uh here and uh, even my business here of buying and selling homes and helping you to buy sell homes as a broker uh is entrepreneurial and that's what drives the economy and that's why our economy is strong in the Shreveport Bossier area is because we have so many entrepreneurs. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm thankful for the big box stores. I'm thankful, you know, there are times that we go there and, and, and need, you know, just it's convenience. But then I also encourage people to, to shop at the small boutiques and, and shop at the, the small hardware stores. And, uh, you know, you get that friendly, you know, home community feeling and and actually uh you know that owner if, if especially if it's like a hardware store the the owner or the person who's waiting on you actually knows what you know <laughs> about the parts and what you need and, and that kind of thing whereas you know in the big box it, it's just who whomever they can get hired to stay on uh, to work for them but that I, i'm getting off on some a soapbox so i'm gonna stay away from that but uh, there are so many different things that are available to you and so i i just encourage you to to pull up google maps and and type in shreveport Bossier, and you'll become familiar with all the things that i'm talking about and that you're seeing here and uh you know and you can begin to see what neighborhoods 
are close and where they're located uh, to. And then what you'll find is that you can begin to, when you get in town to look at some houses, you'll already know in certain places you want to look at. And we can jump right on it and get you under contract within a day, you know, of you being here. So, uh, you know, don't think that it's going to take, you know, forever for this to happen. We can move quickly. I move quickly. I prefer to move quickly and to uh, get you so that you're not, uh, you know, the expense of coming in. But, you know, if we have to do uh, virtual and, and, and do it, you know, by we can FaceTime or uh, uh, and walk through houses and in that way we can get it down to just a few and then, you know, make your decision without even coming into town if necessary, you know, I'm, there's all kinds of options. I'm open to anything. I'm not going to push you into, I'm not a pushy salesy person uh, because I believe you'll know your home when you see it, you know, when you see the layout and, and especially if you're able to walk in it, uh, you'll know it's for sure, but it just feels like home. It, it, it fits, fits your family. So, uh, you know, I encourage you that there are so many different things that we've talked about in different videos that to watch those uh, at the end, the cl what I call closing remarks. And this is where we just chit chat about different things. And so you'll find that in these videos, if they're really all different uh, and all, even though the neighborhoods might be in the same area, I might try to uh, hone in on a different point of view uh, for that area and all, but we want you to know, you know, what everything's going to look like and what it's going to feel like uh, when you get here. There's going to be lots of trees, that's for sure. So make sure you know uh, and be aware of of that. We're not flat, flat and barren, but we're not mountainous either. Uh, but we definitely have our share of uh, trees and forest and all those kind of good things. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City. Heart to your home.